Over a long time now, I've worked out the best way for me to carry and also access my lures when I'm out bass fishing. My needs are quite possibly different to yours because I'm always bound to a rucksack. I'm always, always carrying camera gear. That's cameras, lenses, filters, spare batteries, you name it. So I'm always bound by a certain amount of bulk that I need to carry, you know, plus my flask, waterproof coat, you know, car keys, mobile, all that kind of stuff, okay? But I don't want my lures in there, okay? I want my lures that I'm gonna fish with, with me when I'm actually fishing. I want them there, I want to access them, but I don't want them to be in the way and annoy me. And over a long time, I found that this HPA chest pack, which I'm obviously not wearing on my chest, for me is the best thing by a country mile. I always use a shoulder strap with it because it takes all the weight of the bag almost off me as such. I don't even know it's there, I'm so used to it. I've got a belt which secures around my waist, then my pliers are on my side, and the bag sits on my side. I don't move it. I don't do this. I don't shimmy it around the front. I don't shimmy it around the back. My bag always sits there. And I know it's not in the way. It doesn't annoy me. I can carry my rucksack. I can move up and down cliffs. I can walk. I can scramble. I can wade out deep and the bag drains so the bag can fill up with water. I can be fishing away, come out of the water, and the bag drains and my lure boxes. I'm going to show you how easy and efficient it is for me with my system to change a lure while I'm actually fishing, okay? So I've brought the lure in, happens to be a pulse tail. My rod goes under my arm, I lock it in like that. I unclip my lure. Now my lure clip I put in my mouth, the side there, okay? Now if you watch me do this, I will not look at my lure bag once. I do everything by feel, daytime, nighttime, wading, doesn't matter. I know this system so well, I don't need to look at it, okay? So I've unclipped my soft plastic, then not looking, unzip my lure bag. I know by the shape of the lure box, which box my soft plastics go in, which is that one. Open it out. Soft plastic or longer lure goes back in. Close it. That goes back in to the lure bag. Now I'm looking for a surface lure. I know which one I'm looking for. And I know again by the shape and the way the lure box sits in the lure bag, which one to pick out. Again, not looking at the lure bag. Out it comes. Open it up. Out comes my surface lure. Again, I'm not looking. That goes back in. And what I always do, it goes back in, zip it up before I clip my lure on. Especially if I'm out in the surf and I'm getting buffeted by waves, I don't want anything coming out of there. So I clip my surface lure on and I'll fish it. There's a few things about this particular bag, which I found over a long, long time now, work better than anything else I've come across. Firstly, the shoulder strap takes all the weight of the bag off me, basically. I, I put this on as naturally as I put a pair of waders on. I don't even know it's there, okay? Also, the way it opens, because it's like that, I think because the lid folds over instead of like that, okay, instead of the bag can't compress in. Because if I take my two lure boxes out now, okay, see that bag's not compressing in. When I want to put them back, it hasn't squashed flat. I just, I know I can use the lure box to lift the lid up, put one in vertically, one in horizontally, without even looking again, it just zips up. It's so easy and there's no collapsing of the actual lure bag to do it. Mm -hmm. 